It really smells like turkey and gingerbread cookies here. And that means we're deep into the winter holiday season. Last year, we introduced a lot of new winter locations for all types of vehicles. So it makes perfect sense to bring you on a short tour around them to show you the best spots to celebrate winter holidays with your buddies. One of the best places to really feel that holiday spirit is Franz Josef Land, one of the northernmost locations in all of War Thunder. Granted, that might not be your first choice for a holiday destination, as it's rather gloomy, with abandoned villages, rusty ship carcasses, and lonesome fortifications scattered around. But trust us, this unforgiving and cold place can surprise you. Pilots will discover something truly special by landing on one of the small islands with a bit of elevation. This view over the snowbound archipelago is nothing short of spectacular. And by the end of the festivities, after the fireworks and all, you can turn the main loading dock area into a cool dance floor. The town of Seversk 13 is eerily still, as if it's a miniature town encased in a snow globe. Random radio traffic coming from abandoned militia cars, as well as rare civil defense announcements, do not paint a pretty picture. But here's an alternative explanation. The whole city just left to spend the holidays someplace warm. Or they're all attending a really good show at a local palace of culture. Either way, right now the streets belong to us. There's already a tree in Central Square that's perfect for doing a circle dance around it, and that's without even mentioning the frozen river in the east, which is a great location for speed skating. Remember, if Takumi Fujiwara could do sick drifts in his old Toyota, you can certainly pull off something extraordinary in your Type 93 SPAA Jeep. If you're aching for the tranquil beauty of small-town Europe, then our next destination is obvious. Welcome to the Maginot Line. The winter here is not as harsh, and so the river in the western part of the map does not freeze. That's hardly a problem, though, as we do not come here for ice skating. No, sir! Indeed, this is the perfect spot for some pro-level hide-and-seek. The thing is, this little town was modeled after, and is a reasonably accurate representation, of the French town of Sedan. There are so many nooks and crannies here. It's heaven for small vehicles, as they can vanish without a trace between all those picturesque houses. A quick tip. If you're fighting against people that use helicopters or VTOL aircraft, they're probably hiding in the courtyard of the Chateau de Sedan. By the way, the real Sedan is located very close to the border between France and Belgium, which means that we simply have to visit the Ardennes. Oh, just looking at this winter wonderland makes me happy. Make sure to try the legendary Belgian waffles. Even battle-hardened veterans should eat some sweets from time to time. While we're in Europe, make a slight detour and visit the updated Fields of Poland, a prime destination for tourists that want to engage in massive snowball fights. The terrain is just perfect for this kind of thing. Just split into two teams, one starting in the west and the other in the east. No hiding behind the windmill, though. Before you go all in on holiday fun, we suggest that you should take some time to dress up your aircraft, tanks, or ships. We even made a separate video highlighting some cool holiday camouflages that might inspire you. Go crazy! There are lots and lots of pretty and funny options available at live.warthunder.com. And coming back to different winter locations, do you agree with our picks? Are there any places that might do an even better job as a holiday destination? Tell us in the comments below. And happy holidays!